Hi guys, rubber band powered cars. One of the questions I get asked most often in the comments is which is the fastest car or how fast is the car? Well, I can't answer how fast the car is because I've got no way of measuring their speed. And as for which of the cars is the fastest, it's difficult to say because I often reuse the parts from one car in the next car so I can't actually race them against each other to see which one's the fastest. So I've had a little rummage through the bits and pieces and I've put this car back together. That was a lightweight simple rubber band powered car. I actually made a pair of them and tested them against each other a few episodes back. Well, this one, it's very lightweight, it's cardboard, uh, drinking straw, axle tubes, barbecue skewers for the axles, CDs for the wheels, and cut down CDs for the front wheels. Uh, it's got a very narrow axle, so I'm going to thicken that up to give it better acceleration. So that's one car I'm going to use. I very recently made this one using a DVD drive case and a thicker back axle and three CDs for each wheel and cut down CDs for the front wheels that's actually a bicycle spoke axle and this one has a much thicker rubber band on it so it accelerates quickly but it's only a short rubber band so it doesn't go all that far which is fine for my kitchen so I'll test those two against each other and I'll also make one more using tomato trellis. Bought these in my local bargain store. Uh, there, there should actually be three of these rods. They're metal tubes. Uh, they're quite lightweight and nice and rigid so I'm going to use two of them to make the chassis for a new car. Um, quite a long one because this one, although it accelerates fast, it's so short that the front wheels come off the ground when we let it go. So I'm going to make a longer one designed purely for acceleration and speed in my kitchen. And when I've got all three together we'll see which one's the fastest. That's my two metal tubes for the chassis. That's the axle. The black tube there comes from this Christmas fa or Father Christmas windmill which is a garden decoration and that's the tube. It seems to be, it's not plastic, I think it's some sort of fibre tube. It's very rigid, very strong. The hubs for the CDs are wooden dowel that I've drilled out to the right size for that tube. So that's convenient because that wooden dowel is the right size for the inside of the CDs so I can actually add or take away as many CDs as I like. I've got three on each side at the moment and I'll put rubber tyres on it, that's strips cut from washing up gloves to give it extra grip and I'm also going to put some foam on the middle there to make it thicker. So I'm going to get extra acceleration because it's a thicker axle. To attach the axle to the tubes I'm going to use these screw eyes in a bit of plastic. I'll go in there, I'll put some hot glue in to hold it still but that will actually be the axle tubes or the bearings. So that's the idea. And 
going to cut up some of this plus oval plastic conduit or trunking to act as the cross member at the front and the back. To thicken up the back axle on this car to give it a better acceleration, I'm going to cut a strip from this polystyrene plate. to make it thicker. That will actually help it to accelerate faster. I'll put a peg in there for the rubber band to hook onto. Yeah, just a little wooden peg so the rubber band's got something to hook onto. Right, I've drilled me plastic oval conduit trunking, whatever you want to call it. Pushed my rods through it and I've just put a nice healthy dollop of hot glue in there to seal it in place. I've put the plastic end caps back on these rods. Uh, that might help when I hit the wall at the end of the run, help reduce the shock. And these pieces came with the tomato trellis kit and I'm going to use them as the bearings for the front axles. But I've got my axle bearings ready so I'll just put hot glue in the end of each of these and then push that in. Right, we'll make the front wheels out of some old store cards. our two wheels. Just need to make the holes in the centre a little bit bigger and I'll put them on a bicycle spoke. Well, not that one, that's a bit bent. Right, we'll compare the two smaller cars first. The one on the right has a larger central back axle so it has the advantage on acceleration plus it's lighter but it's got a much less powerful rubber band on it. The one on the left has got a very thick rubber band but a relatively thin axle. So we'll see how they do. marginally faster on the left with the more powerful rubber band. Now we'll try the new car and the faster of the other two. Uh, the new car is so big you can't actually see the back of it. So I'll just have to let them go and see how we do. I think it's pretty clear that the new car is the fastest. So I'll do a summary and explain why. Summary time. This is the lightest car out of the lot and it's got the lightest rubber band. I've increased the size of the centre of the back axle to help it accelerate and I think it did very well. It just about kept up with this one. This one has a very thick rubber band on it so it's got a more powerful engine. It had a smaller back axle, or thinner, compared to the lightweight car, so I was surprised it actually accelerated as well as it did, and that's down to the fact it's got the thicker rubber band. But the first two cars were very close to each other. Uh, you'd really need a much longer run to tell which one was going best. The third car, which is the new one that I've made, 
was clearly much faster. It's got the same type of rubber band as the second car, but it's got more of them because it's a much longer body. I've also padded out the back axle so it's much thicker. That helps it accelerate as well. And the car is very light. So that's why that one's the fastest. I think, to be honest, the main reason it's the fastest is the big back axle, because that gives it much faster acceleration. But it's able to cope with having a much stronger rubber band as well, because the chassis is made out of metal tubing. So, in a race, that one's the fastest. Long term, my intention is to actually make an electronic timer so I can actually give some sort of feedback as to how fast they go. But at the moment we just have to compare one to the other.